In this lesson, we're going to learn various ways of hiding objects inside of our final game. And we're going to learn how to use camera culling mask to not show certain layers so that we can manipulate them in the scene view, but not see them in our actual game. So I've just opened up the project files here, and I've opened up the begin camera culling mask file. And here we have just a small cross section of our level. Now, in our game, we have uh, waypoints that are represented by these spheres. And I like to see them in my scene view because it's very helpful to be able to uh, see where the enemy is going to follow or the path that it's going to take. However, once we get into our game, I don't want to see these objects here. Now, there's a few different ways uh, that we can hide them. The one is, of course, turning off their mesh renders. And that will, of course, make them disappear inside of our game. However, if we go back to our scene, it also makes them disappear in the scene. We'll come back here and turn back on that mesh render. Now, we could also, of course, go into the parent and turn off the parent and deactivate all the children as well. And, of course, that will hide it. But then we have to remember to come back and reactivate, and it's a pretty long process. Now, we can actually just tell our camera not to render certain layers. And we can do that by going to our camera object and changing the camera's culling mask. So the first step of this is to place objects you do not want to see onto a new layer. So we can select our object here, and you can see I already have it assigned to layer 8. Now, if you do not have these layers, you can, of course, go to Add Layer and then type in Layer 8. And let's say Layer 8 is um, Objects to Hide. All right. Now we can come back and we can assign this new layer to any objects we do not want to see. So I'm just going to come over and assign my objects to hide. And actually, let's just do this to the parent and change the children as well. So now all of these objects are set to the layer objects to hide. Now if we go back to our camera, we can now drop down this culling mask and uncheck our objects to hide layer. And now our camera will no longer render or work with those objects on that specific layer. Now, if you have multiple layers of objects that you do not want to see, for example, let's change one of these to layer 10. We can see that pops in here. You can, of course, drop down and turn off as many layers as you want. So if we do not want to see this layer and layer 10, we simply turn both of those off. Now, if you want to bring everything back, at the top we have the everything. And if you want to turn everything off and only add in a specific level or a specific layer, we can go to nothing. And I know I have my level on layer 9, and so now I'm only rendering my level. So using layers and the camera culling mask is a really great way to define which objects we want this camera to render and which objects we only want to appear in our scene. And so this is a great way to organize objects. Of course, it does require a little bit of work creating layers and then changing them in the camera. But once you have them set up, you can simply add all those extra objects you don't want to see to that layer and never have to worry about them being rendered in your game.